and welcome again to our Sakata vegetable production series. Today we're talking seed treatment. Why should you treat your seed or why um, should you buy seed that's already treated? So in Sakata's case, um, their seed comes treated already for various different reasons and so forth. Alex is going to tell me a little bit more and let's debunk some of the myths um, that surround seed treatment. Alex, how are you doing? Very well in here. No, good, good. First of all, Tell me quickly, so I've got these seeds and they do not look like seeds, they more or less look like something you can eat. Um, why do you do seed treatment? Okay, it's, it's very important um, to, to uh, extend a, uh, the life of, of the seeds, um, to protect the seeds. It's almost like a protective gear that we put onto the seeds. It's basically to protect that seed the moment we put it into the soil, that uh, it doesn't rot in the soil. It's just protecting the seed from, from the f first contact um, in the soil with any diseases. Um, and to, to give you the optimal germination um, in the soil by protecting that little seed. Is, is, is that because um, in the soil itself, the soil actually, even though you can't see it, is a little bit of a hostile environment in terms of there's a lot of things that go and attack the seed at the end of the day and you basically just give it that protective coating to make sure that it actually germinates and that it can um, stand on its own two feet. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what we're doing. So we, we're making sure that the, the grower is getting a, a, a optimal seed that protect it um, to, to get out of the soil without any problems that, but that could happen. Let's call it this jacket that you're putting on. Yeah. Is it like a type of poison or what is it? Yeah, so it's a chemical treatment um, and it depends um, with with the different crops. We've got different chemicals that we put on it uh, that it doesn't influence the germination and the growth of the plant. So we, we've done studies for, for many, many years before we, we start going onto a chemical, um, what the influence is on that specific seed. So it's the optimal chemical that we put on it um, and we basically treat the seed um, with that chemical to protect that little seed. Okay, but now what about the, the chemical that you're putting on here because that's going to be taken up by the plant and at the end of the day let's say it's a carrot or beetroot in this case then the whole carrot is poisoned so you're slowly poisoning me yeah that's not the case so um, with with the the, um, the the science behind the chemicals and all the, the the science that's been done before we we start treating seed with a specific chemical we look at what the withholding period is and what the influence is by the uptake and most of the chemicals is just basically a contact chemical that just uh, this disappears into the soil as soon as the seeds germinated and it's not going to have an influence on the, the specific crop. So it will be a week or two weeks yeah. maximum and then it basically disappears. Yeah. Um, is there any safety legislation worldwide and so forth that these the, the chemical treatment needs to adhere to? Yeah, so uh, there, there is definitely um, organizations that that uh, that uh, has measures in place for all companies to adhere to so um, we also go through through those chemical um, organizations to make sure that the chemicals that we put on is safe and is registered on the specific crops that we we put the, the, the chemicals on uh, Alex then just on another point um I've got some green seeds here with the beetroot and you've got some carrot seeds there that's actually blue. Why is there a difference in color? Okay, so um, the coloring is basically, um, we put the coloring on for, for the grower to, to, to see where he put the seed in the soil. Um, and also if you've got a nursery and they, they do with drum sewing or so with different sewing machines, they can see the seed specifically. But the color doesn't, um, in or doesn't um, basically um, determine what chemical is put on there or anything. It's just different colors for different crops or different colors for different varieties that we do. Um, and it also depends on, uh, we, we use colors that, that you can easily see when you put it on the soils. Um, so it's not light colors that, that um, we, we, we struggle to see when we sow the seeds. So 
the, the, the culling is basically just to, to see the seats in there. And the, the other field. thing is, um, you, were, you were mentioning that, uh, for example, Swiss chard and beetroot, the seats look exactly the yeah, same. Very so then you know, okay, right, the green ones are basically the beetroot seed, and let's say whatever color you pick for the Swiss chard, yellow or purple or whatever. Yeah, it's usually a red color for, yeah. for Swiss chard, so yeah, you can see the difference in, in that as well. Awesome. But you will also see on, on the tins, it's very clearly marked, you know, what's a Swiss shot, what's a beet, what's a carrot, what's a whatever. Um, so it's, it shows the, the kind and the variety as well. Alex, thank you very much. Right, so now you know, at least, the, uh, um, this uh, seed treatment is to basically protect your plant in that first initial phase. It will not poison you. Um, it's very important that you actually buy seed that's treated. Uh, these things have been thoroughly tested. Um, there's no, um, or all the other myths around it most probably is not true. Everything needs to adhere to stringent safety regulations and so forth. So then you can know that when you buy cicada seed um, and it's treated that you're getting the best um, the best possible seed with the best possible protection. Make sure that you look at all our other um, cicada vegetable production videos that we've got. If you've got any questions, comment below and you can look, there's a link here on top as well or below, depending on where you're um, watching this video. And then you can make sure um, that you get in contact with them if you've got any further questions um, regarding vegetables, any type of form. Till next time, cheers.